This right here is the Infinix 0 5G. See how beautiful and gorgeous she looks. It is the first 5G smartphone from Infinix and it sports the MediaTek Dimensity 900 chipset. Kudos to Infinix. This phone is mad though. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you my experience using this device. Or should I say how it feels to have the Infinix 5G smartphone. So guys, before I go on with the video, I would love you to install the Infinix X Club app. You get to enjoy so many gist and videos with lots of fun and also tips. You can also share your own content or follow me as your favorite content creator. So I will include the link in this video description so you download after watching this video. So back to the Infinix 05G. Before you upgrade to the Infinix 05G, what's in the box? You have a tall box housing the phone and its accessories. It's even taller than the rugged Humidity G X10. So inside the box, you get the smartphone looking so premium. Honestly guys, I, I love this color option. Then next you have a 2 year warranty card with an included screen replacement. Which means Infinix will replace the screen of this phone for the next 150 days if it is damaged. And that's something you don't get to see in most smartphone brands. But please don't, don't smash it. You can, you can smash this one. Yes, it's a rugged phone. And nothing will happen. So back to the box, you have the SIM ejector pin. And then an x pack leaflet that says you can win a free phone if you download the app. You also have one X Gold Note, a TPU case for the phone, the earphone, a USB Type-C cable with an orange theme, and a 33 watt fast charger. When it comes to the design and build of this phone, this phone is made from plastic, pretty much like every other smartphone. But you have a durable material here on the Infinix Zero 5G. This phone looks good, especially from the rear. The material here does not attract smudges and fingerprints so easily. But if you can't deal with it, then use the provided TPU case to avoid some certain dust and smudges. It looks exactly like the Oppo Find X3 Pro. The only difference here is you have a glass back on the Oppo Find X3 Pro, but here on the Infinix 05G, it is a plastic model that looks and feels premium. You have three camera lenses that perform so well, which I will be talking about soon, and then a dual LED flashlight. Other external features include an extra microphone on top. On the left, you have a dual 5G SIM tray and a micro SD card. And then on the right, you get a volume up and down rocker, and then the power button that is also the fingerprint scanner. At the bottom, you have an extra microphone, a 3.5 earphone port, the USB Type-C port, and the speaker grill. Actually, it's a single firing speaker or a mono speaker, which I wasn't really expecting here from a 5G smartphone, but it does sound okay. Another interesting feature of this device is the fingerprint unlock. Very comfortable and also fast. I love the smooth response. Maybe I should check out other Infinix devices if there is anyone that is faster than the Infinix 5G. Moving on to the display, this phone sports an immersive 6.78 inches display with a 120Hz refresh and a sampling rate of 240Hz. You can see how smooth it responds to touches, despite being an IPS LCD panel. Depending on what you're doing, you can switch between 60 or 120Hz. When it comes to media content, it is a full HD plus display with sweet looking colors and a resolution of 2460 by 1080 pixels. If you don't know the difference, you will liken the display to be an AMOLED display because there is nothing lacking behind here when it comes to the display. The colors are vibrant with thin bezels on top and by the sides. And then you have a poncho for the selfie camera with an LED flashlight. Now let's talk about the main thing that will probably make you buy this smartphone or not and that's the performance. This phone comes with a 5G module, which would have been more enjoyable if we had a 5G network here in Nigeria. But even at that, this phone is fast. It comes with a MediaTek Dimensity 900 chipset here. You have an 8 gigs of RAM, which you can boost up to 11 gigs, a 128 gigs of internal storage, and a 5,000 million battery capacity. Check out the gaming performance. The gameplay is okay, and the handling is so on point. The only thing that will probably turn me off here is the sound when gaming. It doesn't do so well, but it is okay. App switching and app launching is mad, and the response is very impressive. You have Mali G68 graphic chip for smooth rendering, and it comes with the Android version 11. Another feature here is the camera. You have a 48 megapixel main camera lens, a 13 megapixel telephoto lens, and the QVGA camera. The picture quality is a good deal breaker. You have details in its images, good color reproduction, and they also did a good job identifying the skin tone. On the front, you have a 16 megapixel camera lens. Ideally, I was expecting a 32 megapixel here, but it is okay. 
but overall the picture quality is okay. For the price, this phone cost 169,500 in Naira or 300 US dollars. Yes, it's expensive, but you do get features that justify the price. This phone is fast with a smooth response. The performance is not lagging behind at all. You have a good battery life and a smooth gaming experience. And that, my friend, is not too expensive. Of course, all smartphones now are expensive. And if you're watching this video, you deserve an expensive phone. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. And on your way out, please hit that red subscribe button. Thank you so much, guys. You can also like and share this video to help someone make a purchase decision. So guys, I'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace.